for each this thing. Is, so. This is always puzzling because this is not natural. Okay. You see what it is? You Just have open, open right. cell. And so what are the bees doing? Are they pulling out varroa mites? Are I was going to say, is that a sign of some hygienic behavior? From the yeah. What yeah. is that? Well, you see, they, they've, they've uncapped and they're probably recapped. That, uh, that, that's a worker beauty there. Um, normally, they're sealing at that stage. I don't know if you can see it or not. But uh, So here's a colony that's... Uh, I've never seen that point. Oh, sorry. Okay. always miss spots. I mean, is that just randomness? <laughs> the newbies here, we got a couple of bees that are about to crawl out. So you see these cells like this with the ragged edge, that's where a worker has just come out of this. Okay. You know, you can get all poetic on this now here. Here's, here's that drone back. I won't sacrifice it. Here's a, here's a newbie. A new newbie. It's still, still fuzzy. Who are you? You see it? Yes. Okay. Um, uh, <coughs> why don't you come out? <coughs> what kind of bees are you? Uh, we'll find out. Uh, yeah. What? Yeah, I'm looking at this oh, demonstration. Okay. Um, okay, a couple of things here. Um, a couple more drones, and uh, I don't see your highness. This is kind of an interesting thing. So you got worker bees emerging here. You've got new brood here. She's still laying, so you, this is a frame where you'd expect to see her. There's some nectar they put in here, but it's not consistent. So they need to send me an uh, email and tell me what they're doing. Uh, the most important thing I want to talk about here is this structure. What is that? It's a cup, yes. Here's another cup. And is that uh, something to worry about? No, just a spare problem. Can we pass that around? Yes. Uh, they make these, they're there all the time. And uh, they may increase the number they have at uh, swarm season, but it's it becomes a queen cell when there's an egg there. So it's just a cup now. Yeah, it's probably an old cell. Uh, old queen cell. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. So, typical of what you'd expect this time of year, so here's more emergence. So there's not a lot of new brood. You've got some drones here. And so they haven't closed the door on the boys yet. Which I've seen in Ohio happen the first week of August. How do you know they have There's still drones in Ohio. You want to you pass that around? When do they get rid of the drones at this geography? It really depends on the weather? It depends on the colony conditions. So you have one colony with drones and with that. And you tend to have drones in the colony that has queen problems when everyone else does it. How, how fast does it happen when they get picked Does it happen in a day or two days or a week? If you drone, it happens like that. <laughs> but I mean all of them. Anybody want to look? This, you know, we've got, we've got more brood. You notice we got the brood in the upper box. So they didn't read the book. get them back. And here's that pollen, that nasty pollen I talked about. So this is normal. You expect to see the pollen on the outside, and it is on both sides. I'm going to do that again, too. Thank you. Want to set this back in? Okay. Do you ever wonder about how much, if they have enough pollen for the winter, or the pollen needs to be I always worry about that. How much are you looking at? Well, the, the reality is, and I, and I didn't really talk about it that much today, but the reality is that a lot of them are going to grab that frame. That is next. Okay, we may be reversing some of these frames. You know, at that talk I gave about the order, these frames are basically identical to the bees. They probably don't have any way of knowing that we just switched two or three in position because they're basically sealed frames of brood. 
They've got honey on the outside, and they're interchangeable. This frame, however, if we put that in the middle, we would break the boot. And you don't really like to do that. I don't like to do that. So, uh, yeah, we got one. Here. You and you use eight frame mediums. I'm using eight frame mediums. I went, I went, I went to ten frame mediums, and I found like this. The outside frame here was being ignored. So you get two out, two frames that are not being touched most of the time. So with eight frame, I find a little better utilization. Would you use three boxes? Uh, come back to me in 20 years, I'll tell you. That's all honey, right? That's about what, he, what we should have. So, we're getting run by our time. So, this is all honey. And in the spring, when you go in, check the bees off and draw your initials with your hive tool with the honey. And then they'll go, it acts like a feeding simulator because you're, you're forcing the bees to that. And we're not going to do it today because that would be a, an improper way of starting some swarming. So, here's, here's the spacing I like. Right here, nine frames and ten frames of foot. All right, you have bees. Um, all sides, but we have a leftover frame. So whose bees are these? Uh, Rich, Rich Lepic, who just poked his head over me. Okay. Now, I am, because of my experience in uh, Hawaii and other places with high beetles, I've become a, a passionate scraper. So I would, at this point, scrape this all off, put it into a container, a bucket. Um, in nature, the bees want that. It helps them go from one box to another, because that, of course, is not natural to have these divisions. So, um, we're going to reverse the order of this rogue comb. So see how much I have to pinch these together to get this comb in, so. Well, they draw it off the bottom. Yeah. Okay. I tried to <coughs> All right, now watch. When I have, when I have comb and I haven't had a lot of time to, to find the queen, I just encouragement to go in. It doesn't hurt anybody. And if the bees aren't pissy, that's a scientific term, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> um, technical term? A very technical. So you can see that with this particular equipment, that it's kind of tight. You want this? Yeah. And <coughs> if you have a problem with small high beams, this is, a, this is the formula that you want to write out. It says, I want small high beetles. I want to have a lot of really <laughs> tight places with burr comb. Now, these combs are great. Wow. They're, none of those combs need to be replaced, in my opinion, unless there's an age factor that you want to, to, uh, to move through here. Um, questions are what we've done. Now, what you're seeing here, bees are starting. We're actually getting the starting of robbing. To these bees on the top here, they've, they've gone into the defensive bees. So, I like to smoke these a little bit. And we're not going to make an effort to find the queen. Why? Because you've got eggs. you got eggs. you got larvae. So we, what, do, what do we have to do? We don't care what's down below. I mean, I do, but, you know, we could go into what it's done, Miss Dinner. Um, <laughs> What I would want to do with this comb is this box. Yeah, go ahead and set that up. I would like to have another box of honey on it. This could be empty. Like I said this morning, it can be empty. Go ahead. Because they'll move the honey down and load up the bottom boxes? Is that what they well, at this point, they may move some, but... Um, Having an extra box on there is never going to hurt you. Earthworm. But you wouldn't leave it on for the whole winter, would you? Or? Yeah. Yeah. So, um, yeah, I, I don't want to get you folks stung, and I look really funny on the airplane. <laughs> all swollen up, so. And I've had a really bad year in terms of being stung. Larry, why do we do this?